Over the past two years, I built a handful of apps that heavily relied on LLMs, diffusers and other AI models using Laravel. In this video, I'll be showing you exactly how you can build your own AI-powered apps using Laravel and Replicate. So let's dive in. Running AI models locally or maintaining and scaling your own machine learning infrastructure can be a massive pain. Replicate allows you to run AI models in the cloud with a simple to use API. Think of it like a serverless function that you can invoke from your PHP code. Much like AWS Lambda, you get charged for your usage per second, based on which GPU the model runs on. Replicate has a library of thousands of community AI models you can run using an API. And you can also deploy and run your own models on their infrastructure. And all of that without having to worry about infrastructure. The way Replicate works is pretty simple. On the Explore page, we can choose a model we want to use, for example, Stable Diffusion XL. On the Model page, we can see every parameter we can send to the model using the API. And you can even try it out right within your browser by pressing the Run button. Now, these models are versioned, so we need to head over to the Versions tab and click on the specific version we want to use in the API. For example, the latest version. We can then interact with this model using an API. So let's head over to the HTTP tab, where we can see a curl request we can execute in our CLI. First, we need to set up a replicate token environment variable. And you can do that by exporting the replicate API token variable as follows. In this terminal session, I already have my API key set up. And for pretty printing the JSON output, I use ppjson. This API call creates something that's called a prediction. Think of it as a job in Laravel that gets put on a queue. Whenever a worker is available, it'll get picked up and the prediction will get updated as the model returns output. To look at our prediction, we can navigate to replicate.com slash p and we can fill out the ID we just got back. And on this page, we'll see the output in the interface. We can also check the status of the prediction by executing a GET request to the API as follows. We send the GET request to api.replicate.com slash v1 predictions and then the ID of our predictions. And I will pipe it again through ppjson for a pretty printed JSON. And here we can see the output as well. Replicate provides a couple of first-party client libraries, for example in Node.js. These libraries allow you to run a model and wait for its output using promises. Essentially, behind the scenes, this creates a prediction and pulls the API every 500 milliseconds. And when the status changes to failed, succeeded or cancelled, the promise will resolve. There were a couple of PHP clients available on GitHub, but they were all missing this, in my opinion, crucial feature. So I created my own PHP replicate client with this run functionality and I open source it for you to use in your projects. Now that we know how Replicate works, let's integrate it in a Laravel project. Let's create a new Laravel project. And let's include the Replicate client. Next up, let's find our Replicate API token. You can find it in the top left by going to API tokens. And here you can see every API token that is created. Let's put it in our end file and let's call it replicate token and then you can paste in your token. Let's open up web.php and in our main route, let's initialize the replicate client. Let's get the token from our environment and let's initialize the client. And finally, make sure to import the class. Now let's find a model to run in the library. You can go to the explore tab and choose any model you like I will use SDXL. We head over to versions, we click on the latest version, and then we copy the model and the version. Head back over to the code and let's run this model. As a reference, we will paste in the value we just copied. And as a second parameter, let's pass in an array with the prompt string. And let's create a cat developing an app there we go and let's display it quick and dirty by setting a header 
to the content type image PNG. And we will die file get contents, the output, and we will get the first output. You can find every parameter the model accepts in the Replicate web interface. Now, when we visit our Laravel app, we will be presented with a nice image of a cat developing an app. And every time we refresh, the image updates. How cool is that? Now, as you probably noticed, the request takes a pretty long time. So my advice to you is to never wait for a prediction to complete within a route handler. Instead, I always try to run models in queue workers, where the long duration has a lesser impact on the user experience. Alternatively, you could also use webhooks and instead of running your models, you can create a prediction as follows. Instead of calling replicate run, we will call predictions create. And instead of passing in the prompt directly, we will wrap it in an input object. Finally, we can also pass in a webhook URL as follows. And let's not forget to dump and die the output. For trying out webhooks, I usually use webhook.site, so you can see every request come in. Now, when you visit the Laravel app, you'll see the request is very fast and after a few seconds we'll get a webhook notification that informs us the prediction has completed. I usually use webhooks when I have a more elaborate setup using WebSockets, for example with Laravel Reverb. While the prediction is running, we can show a spinner in our frontend and when the webhook gets called, we can broadcast an event to inform the frontend the prediction has completed. Let's take a look at another example. This time we'll chain two models together, a large language model and a diffuser. We'll use Llama 3 as our large language model. And because this is an official model, we are not required to pass in a version. The prompt we set is as follows. You are a creative director for an animated movie and your task is to describe a scene in intricate detail in 200 characters or less. Only reply with a description, nothing else. Describe a random scene in a fantasy movie. Now, when we run this model and wait for the output, we'll see that the output is an array of words or tokens, I should say. We can simply use implode to join this array into a sentence. When running the model, we can also get updates by passing in a function as a third parameter. In this case, we can now follow along in the logs and you'll see the tokens come in while the request is ongoing. Again, in a more elaborate setup, you could stream this to the frontend using WebSockets, so the user will get feedback much quicker. Next up, we can pipe the output of the LLM into our diffuser as before. And behold, now every time we refresh, we get a new random fantasy scene. Pretty cool. Here are a couple of things I learned while working with AI models on Replicate over the past years. One, never assume a model will run instantly. Because of the way Replicate works, you may have to deal with cold boots that can take anywhere from two to five minutes. This is especially the case when you're working with less popular models. When a cold boot happens, the status of the prediction will be queued, and once the model is booted, it will start running. Two, use webhooks for very long tasks. Replicate allows you to fine tune certain models and this process can take up to 30 minutes. In my experience, these fine tuning tasks work best when combined with webhooks. And number three, integrate WebSockets. As we saw in the examples, it can sometimes take a couple of seconds for the model to complete running. That's why it's very important to give your user feedback as soon as possible. You can use Laravel Reverb if you're on Laravel 11, or you can use something like Socketi if you're on an older version of Laravel. Both of these support the pusher protocol, so they're pretty much interchangeable. And that concludes the video. If you like this content, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I hope you learned a thing or two, and I will see you in the next one.